In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add to an array in JavaScript. Here, I created an array with two values, 0 and 1. To add another value to the back of this array, you want to use the push method on the array itself. So here we're going to push 5 to the back of the array, and it's going to be the third item. So let's go ahead and output that to the console and see what happened to our new array. I'm going to refresh the browser, and here it is, 0, 1, 5. It's basically the same thing as if we added 5 to the back of this array by typing it. In JavaScript, arrays are zero index based. What it means is that the first item is at zero index. You can access the index with the brackets. So let's open the brackets, type zero. That's going to reference the first value in the array. And typing an A is going to assign a value to the first index. So as you can see, we changed zero value to character A. So in this case, we didn't just add a new value to an array, but we also replaced the previous one stored at that index. Now you can use the index brackets in the same way for adding an item to the back of the array. We just need to count the number of values and that's three. So we're going to add a new item at index three, which is actually the fourth item, starting counting from zero. Let's see what, what's going to happen if we add 8. So we added 8 to the back of the array by using the index brackets. Now, if we add something to index 4, it's going to add it again to the back of the array. And if you continue increasing that index, you can continue adding more items, which works a little like the push method, except we're typing the index ourselves. We're not limited to the same type of value, so we can add another array as one of the items. We can add an object or pretty much anything else. The array object has a length property. So another way of adding to the end of the array is to use array length directly. It is automatically calculated by JavaScript. So all we have to do is use array.length as an index. And this will always add an item to the back of the array. Again, it's like the push method. And as you can see, if I repeat that again, it's going to add another item to the back. And you can go like this forever. So this is just the basic way of adding a new item to the back of an array. I hope this tutorial is helping someone out there. Please leave a comment or subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next JavaScript tutorial.